In recent times, logo animation have become very appealing because of the minimalistic animation design that professionals have adopted, where they animate all components of the logo coming together to make very good meaning to a particular brand. So in these tutorials, I want to show you how professionals set their logo up for a minimalistic logo animation that makes meaning to every particular brand. So in this tutorial, we're going to use Adobe Illustrator to achieve this because most clients logo are being delivered in this file format. Of course, there are other formats like EPS, PDF, SVG. All those formats can be opened in Adobe Illustrator. Typically, the interface is like every other Adobe product. So you have the tools by the right. What? <laughs> and then you have the basic standard option at the top. And then here we have other tools we're going to be familiar with. This is not a deep, deep tutorial for Adobe Illustrator. Yes. This is just for you to be able to know how to basically use this to set up your logo for a good animation like a professional. So let's get started quickly. Here I have this Go Chat logo I made or I received in Adobe Illustrator file. So you can see here at the top right corner, it is all in one layer, one component all the components in one single layer. So if you import this into Adobe After Effects, you can only get a single layer. That way you'll have to do an extra work to break this down to be able to animate it in any other distance. So this logic applies to every other logo you have received. So the first thing you have to do, you have to come at the bottom section of this right column here, which is the layer manager. So here you see the plus icon right here. So you have to click it to create a new layer. So this new layer enable you select any components in this logo and then drag and drop it right into it. So sometimes you may have a grouped layer. If you have that to separate all of these components, now what we're going to do is to hold down control shift and then click on anyone want to move to the new layer we have created. So I'm going to quickly select this dark cycle. So, and then move it to the that place you select the blue dot right here, just click, hold and drag into that place. And that is going to move it into the new layer you have selected. So if you hide it using the eye icon here, you see that that is not visible. Now it is now in its own independent layer. So now you have to also make sure you keep everything organized by renaming the layer. Just double click and then you enter the new name you want to give it. So I'm going to also click again to create a new layer. Then I'm going to drag this other cycle of the white with that and then drag it into that particular new layer following the same step. Do not worry that the dot on top has hidden. You can always arrange the layer to keep things the way they are. You see as immediately I move the layer hierarchy below it, it is now what it is. So I'm going to continue to repeat this process to put all of these logo elements in a separate layer. So now if you take a look at the layer panel, you will see I have broken this down into individual layers. All of these comprises of all the logo elements you find right here on the preview. Let's take a look at how this will look in Adobe After Effects. So if you navigate to where you have your logo saved, you're going to need to drag and drop it into the project manager window. You can also use the file import option or control I to achieve this step or you can double click on the project manager window. So it will pop up this window right here. So here you have the option of selecting footage. If you select footage that is going to import it as a single layer file, then we need it to come in those layers we have set it up in 
Adobe Illustrator. So now select this option called composition. Make sure also that you set this to document size. This will keep the positioning of each of the elements of the logo if you select the document size. But if you select the layer style, that is going to bring everything into one spot. So we're going to select the document size and then hit OK. That is going to import this creating a folder containing all the layer structures you have in Adobe Illustrator and then it is going to also create a new composition with it. But sometimes if you set it up in 1920 by 1080 back in Adobe Illustrator, you can continue using that. But usually what I do is to create a new composition. So when I create a new composition in the resolution, I want to use it. Then I hit OK. So I will now expand the folder right here that came with it. Select all these elements. You see they came in the layer structure and in the name you have given them. Drag and drop it into the timeline. So now you have each of the element on its layer and retaining the name you have if you take a look at your timeline right here. And this is your logo. Now go in and start animating the way you want to have it look like. So this is how professionals prepare their logo for minimal and stylistic logo animation right inside Adobe After Effects with the help of Adobe Illustrator. If you want to know how I animated this logo, you can check the video on the end card. If you learn something new on this video, please hit the like button. That will enable the algorithm to suggest this to more people. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me in the comment section and I'll reply to all questions as quick as I can. If you like the video, leaving a comment is all a support. So in whatever way you are able to support me, I highly appreciate you. So until I see you again on the next one, my name is SSB Otaru from Motion Digit Studios.